Hello, welcome to the Games of Nations with me, Ben, and I'm here to do an unboxing. I've had this game since it came out, um, special edition, the big special edition, so I thought, well, I haven't done a big unboxing in a while. So I was like, eh, I haven't done this one, I'll go back to it and do it for you. So, you know, turn me round. Here we have the Gears of War 2 Epic Edition. So I got this along with my Gears of War 2 console, which I just over there. Um, and, well, I was a big Gears of War fan, a big Gears of War fan. So I was like, you know what, Gears of War 3, really excited for it. I'm going to get the console and the Epic Edition. So I did. And the game was shit. <laughs> you know, it was alright, but it wasn't, you know, it, it was good at first, and then it sort of got a bit shit. So, well, here's what we're getting here. So this cost me £100 when it came out. Um, that's what you get in the box. And that's the side. Gears of War art book. So each Gears of War has an art book. This is the only special edition I've got of any Gears of War. Um, so I know each one has an art book. And this just has art from the trilogy. Uh, it's not just from Gears 3, it is mainly from Gears 3, but there is stuff from the entire trilogy in there. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a pretty good art book. It's, you know, it's quite flimsy. Okay. It's not really got that much of a hard cover on it, but it's nice, it was an interesting read, so I suppose that's, you know, that's something. And then you've got the game box, now this is the limited edition, this, if you bought the limited edition, this is what you've got. So, it opens up like this, and inside you have your beautiful free limited edition game. Inside has stickers, the manual, and of course the game. Overall, you know, like I said before, it wasn't the best game in the series. It certainly still won't be known as the best game in the series, but it was it was, was alright at the beginning. Then you get the Coalition of Government flag. I have this hung up over there. So it's just hanging where the computer is now. Then you get these other little memorabilia. You have two photos. This one is of Adam Phoenix receiving this. And then this one is of Adam Phoenix sent to Mark's mother. And his wife. In here, you have a little uh, a letter written from um, Adam. I've got his name. I just said it. <laughs> Adam Phoenix to Marcus before what happened happened. You then get the certificate of the Ox Medal. You then get. Adam Phoenix's will. You then get the blueprint to the Hammer of Dawn. And then some bonus codes. These two were pre ordering, so this one was the yeah, Adam Phoenix character and private bonus weapon skins. And this one was the Commando Dom character. 
So this one I got for uh, buying a game and for spending so much money I got Crisis 2 free. So, you know, that one doesn't come with normal editions at Crisis 2, but I got it. Well, I spent so much goddamn money on this thing. So I just put everything back. Lots of stuff to put back. Oh, I'm not finished actually. You can then pull this down from inside, and the medal can be removed. So there you go, it's a very, very heavy. Um, and you won't be able to see that in here is a code. If you enter that code on your Xbox 360, you are not adding to it. So I can't close the damn box. <laughs> Done. Right. Now you got the big thing. A Marcus Phoenix statue. So the lance comes off, it's normally packaged with the lance but off. It's a pretty big lance for that. Okay. So if I, if I can tear it in my hand, you know, the same size of my hand. Pretty big. Um, very heavy statue. Solid, not hollow. Uh, very well detailed, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but it's very, very well detailed. And then you also get an enclosure for it, which this is normally the original game case for the panoramic card or cutout thing of which you can put in front of for the display. So, thank you for watching my Game of War unboxing. Please check out the other stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks.